Welcome to Brilliantly British. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely sticky malt loaf. So as I show you how to make this delicious treat, sit back, relax with a cup of tea in hand and enjoy this episode. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Moorish, chewy and wonderful with tea. Malt loaf is a sweet, dense tea bread speckled with fruit. In this episode, with these ingredients, we'll be showing you how to make this delicious tea time treat with fantastic results and a verdict at the end. So, without much further ado, allow me to introduce the ingredients to you. For today's brilliantly British malt loaf, you will need some dark muscovado sugar, some dried fruits, I'm going for prunes, dried currants and some sultanas. You will need some black treacle, some golden syrup, both of which if you can't get hold of them, you can make yourselves at home by following the link up there. You will also be needing some malt extract, some self-raising flour, some eggs, some strong black tea and some butter, followed by a pinch or two of salt. That's it for the making of today's Brilliantly British Malt Loaf. But, 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 please, before you get started, before you do anything at all, switch on your kettle, brew yourself a nice cup of hot tea so that you can sip on that whilst you bake. After a lovely sip of tea, brew some more in a relatively large jug, taking the time whilst you wait to plan your next Brilliantly British dish, making sure to like and subscribe. With your tea leaves or bags having served their purpose, discard and then into that jug, turn in dark sugar, thereafter stirring until fully dissolved. You'll then want to add your black treacle and malt syrup before stirring to homogenize whilst rehydrating. With that done, stir in butter, which should begin to slowly melt, otherwise you'll need to reheat the contents. With all wet elements well mixed together, follow on by turning in your dried fruit, in my case, cranberries, sultanas, and chopped prunes, which should be allowed to soak for at least an hour, which leaves you with ample time to browse through the channel once more, making sure, of course, to like and subscribe. Thank you. After an hour of soaking, pass the contents through a sieve to catch the fruit, which you'll want to place in a bowl to the side just for now. At this stage, switch on and begin preheating your oven. Then beat eggs with a pinch of salt before incrementally dusting in flour with your wet mixture. With all elements combined to form a rich silky batter, place the batter to one side, then lightly mix flour into your fruit, a crucial step to ensure that your fruit doesn't sink within the batter. You'll then want to add your floured fruits to complete the batter, folding them in gently before pouring the batter into your lined cake pan, knocking the pan afterwards to remove bubbles of air, and finally sliding it into your oven to bake low and slow. After baking, with it looking as stunning as this, waste little to no time before glazing liberally with golden syrup. Once cool for best results, Tightly wrap the loaf up, storing it in a cool, draft-free environment to improve in flavor and texture. So, after two days of maturing, with a now rich and sticky malt loaf made, I think it's high time for... Tasting, tasting, tasting. Are you ready? Are you steady? Three, two, one. Hmm, it's sticky, got that wonderful maltiness not too sweet lovely fruits in there this is delicious mm. and of course enhanced by a cup of tea uh, mm. this is fantastic it has the perfect perfect texture it's moist as well not overbaked <sighs> look I can try to describe this but I really really insist that you go ahead and make this malt loaf yourselves for your friends and family it is delicious and it will disappear really quickly i promise you that so without much further ado without much delay go out get the ingredients and make this malt loaf please 
Thank you, thank you, thank you all for allowing me to show you how to make a delicious malt loaf. Knowing that you loved this episode, please don't forget to click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that you don't miss any of our new releases. Tell everyone you know about the Brilliantly British Food on this channel and follow us on all of the social media platforms that this channel is on and I will see you 